typically. Uh, we are asked to come in from about 8 to 5. Generally you work 40 hours a week. I work from 8 until 4, but I know some people who work from 9 until 5, all 5 days. The type of attire you should wear is uh, business casual. Uh, polo is nice, slacks are encouraged, jeans are acceptable. For girls, um, pretty much just wear a nice, somewhat conservative top, maybe some slacks and uh, a longer skirt. Um, try to avoid wearing t-shirts or tank tops or anything low cut. And uh, you can wear open-toed shoes if you're not in a lab environment, but try to stay away from flip-flops. In regards to the meal options, you can bring a lunch if you want. It is less expensive to do so, and you can say work during lunch if you need to. But they also have some fairly good sandwiches available, or they every once in a while have a blue plate, um, plate special that's less expensive that will have a side and an entree. I particularly like the uh, buffalo chicken wrap and the getting the salad bar every day. My favorite is the, uh, the sandwich bar. It's kind of like just a uh, pick whatever you want to put on your sandwich, and that's really good. And they also have really good pizza. I do suggest that you bring your own lunch because sometimes the food can get costly. Depending upon who your mentor is, you may or may not be able to use your cell phone. But when you're in the lab, uh, no cell phones allowed unless there's an accident. I bring mine in just in case something would happen, but you really don't want to bring your cell phone out when you're working with radioactive materials. Generally, they're pretty good about you having your cell phone. I don't recommend having the ringer on because that's kind of considered in flight if you're working with other people in the area, but yeah, you can have your cell phone pretty much everywhere. There are several places to park. It's easier to park in the morning, and um, sometimes you might want to check with the people in your office because there's parking around your building. Well, I usually didn't have any trouble finding parking. I rode with uh, two or three other people, and we always were able to find a spot, maybe not in the first row, um, but in the second or third row, and didn't have any trouble. So. The space you get allocated depends a lot on who you're working for and what department you're in. Uh, for example, in my case, I was given a cubicle all to myself. However, in the case of some of my colleagues, they've been given a single room and a single desk to work on, and there's four of them assigned to that room. I don't actually have a cubicle. I get to share an office with my other intern. It's a fairly big office. We each have our own side with our own computer, our own desk. So a good place to find a roommate or to find uh, housing is internhousing.com. The internhousing.com website had all the um, roommate spots filled up. So I was able to go to Craigslist and search for housing and I found my roommate there. Yes, a form of ID is required at all times while you're on campus. They have your picture and your uh, ID number. They also give you different cards with numbers in case you need help with anything. This year they had a, a car show, and they had all these cars spread out on the on Main Street, and you could go around and look at the cool different cars. Apparently they also have a chili cook-off that is really good you can go to. Occasionally they have free Chick-fil-A safety lunches and stuff, so. Well, you can go to brown bag seminars where they talk about different topics, and it's pretty interesting. You get freebie stuff like lunch boxes and mugs and stuff like that. One time there has been Frisbee out on the quad, so there's some fun stuff to do. We, as interns, we have actually created a Facebook um, group that allows us to interact and set up uh, different events. For example, I went camping uh, this weekend with a couple of interns. I went to a seminar with the early career professionals and they mentioned volleyball on Thursdays at 5.30 over at Clark Park. And people come, we play volleyball, we play ultimate frisbee, basketball, sometimes we go swimming because it's right by a lake. I actually found a group of interns that did fun things every single weekend. We went camping, we went hiking, we went whitewater rafting. There is so much to do around Tennessee.